In this video, we will learn how to rig the foot of the character in fake 3D in 180 degrees so that you can easily change the direction of your character rig. So this is the lesson 6 and the final lesson of the character rigging series. In case you have missed the previous lessons, then you can check it out from the link provided in the description. So that being said, let's jump into Adobe After Effects and let's get started with the rigging process. Okay, right now we are in After Effects and here we have the shoe illustration layers properly separate inside the composition. And here we have few reference layers for uh, for each key poses of the shoe in different angle. One for the side view, one for the angled side view, one for the front view and vice versa. So we're going to first convert all the layers of the original shoe illustration into shape layers. So for that, select the illustration layers, right click on it, create and create shape from vector layer. And now just delete the extra illustration layers. And now I'm going to replace these two shape layers with a circle layer and use the original shoe body layer as an alpha mat. So let's add two circle shape layers and match the color. So I'm just canceling the stroke and only keeping the fill color. And then select these two shape layers and and use the shoe body layer as an alpha mat and turn on the visibility. Okay, so right now we are going to animate the shape path property of the individual shape layers of the shoe illustration. And we are going to uh, keep the five different key poses. One for the extreme side view, for, for the left profile, one for the right profile, one for the angled left, one for the angled right, and another one for the front view. So we will just need to add keyframes on the shape path property for these two five key poses of the show. So starting with the very first layer. So we have already started with the first key pose so we don't have to worry about it. Just open the shape path property. By the way, if you select the layer and press and hold the control key and then click on this toggle button, it's going to open up all the properties un under the layer at the same time. So we're just going to add keyframes on the shape path property of individual layers. And once you have added keyframes on the shape path property on all the layers, press U to open the properties with keyframe. Now you can either jump on to next four frame, five frame, doesn't matter. You just need key poses here in the timeline. So I'm just going to jump on to next five frame and add keyframes and turn on the visibility of the second key pose. And let's uh, just bring down the opacity to around 50. And we're just going to match the shape path property. So starting with the very first layer, let's select this two vector points and drag it and just use the Bezier handles to properly match the shape path of the key pose. And then the shoe bottom layer. Uh, by the way, if you are wondering where I got these key poses, uh, I have uh, initially designed those key poses in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm just selecting individual shape layers of the shoe illustration and just matching each and every element with the key pose. Now this key pose is complete. Now we're going to jump on to next five frames again and add keyframes. Now, once you have added the second key pose on the fifth frame, uh, you should maintain the number of frames in between the key pose. So I'm just adding the third key pose after the fifth frame. So in that means on the 10th frame. So again, let's match the shape path property with the third key pose. That means this time the front view. And let's bring down the opacity to about 50%. And again, just following the same process. And if you are not fully comfortable with uh, using shape layers or how to change the shape path, how to morph shape path, then I have a detailed course on After Effects. I would highly recommend you to check it out if you want to completely master motion design and animation in After Effects. So I will be providing the link in the description. Go check it out. And if you are wondering how I am getting this transform box for the shape path, just select the shape path property and double click on it. And here you get the transform box.
again this key pose is also ready so let's move on to the next one and let's jump on to next five frames and let's proceed with following the similar process okay now let's move on to the final key pose and again match the shape path with the key pose and for this second circle shape I'm just going to split this layer from the fourth key pose. Since in the fourth key pose it's not visible, I'm just going to move the shape path somewhere around here. And from here we can bring in the uh, circle inside, inside the area of the shoe. So right now, this is how it's going to look like. Let's turn off the visibility. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So for these two back shape layers, we have to uh, add keyframes on the opacity property. So let's just uh, fix the layers. I mean, let's start the layer from the very start. And let's open the opacity property at keyframes. From here, till the fourth key pose we're going to give it zero percent from here it's going to go from 100 to zero but it's not going to be in uh, linear keyframes it's going to be in hold keyframes so once the playhead reaches the fourth key pose it's going to be automatically zero and now on the second back shape layer it's going to be 100 percent opacity over here and zero percent at the start Again, 100% at the end. And just convert this keyframes into hold keyframes. Again, let's add a keyframe at the end for the shape path and the opacity as well. Just to maintain uh, the number of key poses for uh, all the layers. Okay, now we're going to connect all the properties with keyframes with a single controller so that we don't have to touch any single layer of the shoe illustration to animate the shoe and rotate it in different direction. Okay, now go to Dwake, then Links and Constraints. Click on the Settings icon beside the connectors and click on the first slider option. This is a 1D slider. So with this, we can rig anything in one dimension. So I'm going to place it somewhere around here. Select all these keyframes together. Then go to the Tweak Angela plugin. Click on Next and click on Properties. And now your shoe should rig properly. Now you only need this single controller to animate the shoe and rotate it in different direction. All right, so that's the end of this video and also the end of the character rigging series. And I'm also providing a character animation pack containing six plus unique character animations and a full body character rig with some customization options. You can get it from the link in the description or from the link provided in the comment section. So that is it. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.